Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart, that you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Morning, Desmond. Yeah. Hi. When you are exposed, tackle people who are in your way to maintain momentum and utilize your sprint ability when the path is clear. Come in, Altair. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead, and for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salahadin is surely aware of this, and so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Would you have me kill them both then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It will be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat. The men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abun Dukud, the wealthiest man in Damas. Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem. William of Montferrat, liege lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed, arrogance, the slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls, that we might better understand their intentions. And Altair, take care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Yeah. 
the work of a master. And that, my students, is how we all should fight. You must be busy. I understand. Remember to reach out for ledges, should you fall while climbing. Many things, many things, too many things. Finest wares in all the land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
see what I have to offer. Safety and peace, Malik. Word that the city was possessed of either. Why do you trouble me today? Al Mualim has marked Mejduddin for death. What can you tell me about him? Salahuddin's absence has left the city without a proper leader, and Mejduddin has appointed himself to play the part. Fear and intimidation get him what he wants. He has no true claim to the position. That ends today. You speak too readily. This is not some slaver we're discussing. He rules Jerusalem and is well protected because of it. I suggest you plan your attack carefully. Get to better know your prey. With your help, I will. Where would you have me begin my search? What's this? You're actually asking for my assistance instead of demanding it. I'm impressed. Be out with it. As you wish. Here's where I would look. First, to the southwest near the mosque. After that, head south of here. There are two locations that might interest you. The southernmost church is one, the other is in the streets, near a synagogue. Thank you for your help, Dai. Don't foul this, Altair. Belki sefer elimizden kurtuldu. Bu sefer kaçmasına izin vermiyor. Huh. 
The short blade is best for quickly fending off multiple.
It's forbidden for you to be here. You must not trespass here. That will cost you your life! Stop it, please! Die, please! By God, glorious and exalted is he. The fight is to disrespect him. And there is no greater evil than this. Majduddin understands. He works to cast out the wicked among us. 
that we may live righteous lives. Of the English king and his infidel army. They leave horrors in their wake. Salah Hadid rides to meet him, that these barbarous acts might be avenged. Pray that God, glorious and exalted is he, leave his favor with us, that he may grant us victory. When you have been exposed, killing some of your perceived... There is nothing more insidious than one who turns his back on the law. For the law was given to us by God. Glorious and exalted is he. To defy it is to disrespect him. And there is no greater evil than this. Alone of the He works in Castle that we may live righteous lives. Watch carefully those around. Those you think you know so well. For none of us is above temptation. Should they act contrary to the law, no matter how minor it seems, they must be reported. A small crime today leads to larger ones tomorrow. Majduddin will help. Only come forward so that he might know their names. There is no harm in naming them. Those among you who defy the law. We are nothing without our faith. Without its rules and its direction. To defy it is to defy the one who leads us. Such behavior cannot be allowed. Don't you think you're a little close? Desire more than just my life. What is it? You know Mejduddin well? Better than most. He seems a bit too righteous. Is the law really so important to him? What do you think? I think he hides something, and I think you'll tell me what it is. It's a veil. All of it. Men like me, we are meant to scare them, fill the people with fear. The ones he kills, not criminals, but dangerous all the same. Dangerous to who? His plans. Their plans. Yes, he speaks of others. Those he works with. Works for, perhaps. I am uncertain. They need the city, though. Controlling it is important to them. Why? You'll have to ask him yourself. Attend one of his executions. It's when he's most talkative, addressing the crowd, hands covered in blood. Then we are done. I 
I am sorry, Ahmad. They came without warning. My son? They have my son? What is to be done with him? We did everything we could. What is to be done with him? He's to be executed. Today. No. I won't allow it. But what can we do? Majduddin will hear no appeals. He says there can be no barter with God's will. This is not God's will, but madness. I'll go to him myself. Where is he? He will attend the execution, perform it even. He enjoys the act. A truly evil man. We have no time to lose then. Let's go. Did you see the order? He wants us to repair a stage for another execution. Today! It's the one at the western edge of Solomon's temple. I was on my way just now. So much death. Were it that our true leader might return and bring a measure of justice to this city? Yes, and not this mockery Mitch the Dean parades before us. How? How does something like this happen? Everyone appointed in Salah Hadin's stead is met with an untimely end. And now, the position falls to him. He, who was once nothing more than the Emir's scribe. How convenient. It would not surprise me to learn he was behind these accidents. Shh! If the guards hear us, we'll be taken for treason. Executed on the very platform we have to repair. Come. Let us return to work. What is it? What do you want? Thank you. 